Okay, so let's talk about the reverse crunch. Now, this is an exercise that not many people know about, but it's very, very effective for core stability, hip stability. Now, first thing I advise, grab a heavy kettlebell. I've got a 32 kilo here, because you're going to want to use it for a little bit of leverage. I'm going to perform the movement, then I'm going to run you through it. So, things we're looking for. So you can see it's very similar to the dragonfly. What I want you to make sure you do is, you're actually trying to pull your knees and crunch yourself backwards. Look, the crunch is like so. You want to do, use your lower body to really crunch the abdominals on your way up. Kick your legs as high as you can. Give it a second so you can brace through the abs. And then what I want you to think about is, let the heels go first. Let the heels drop first, and then try to resist them touching the floor. If you can't get all the way up, just reduce the range of motion, it's fine. You could, we have people at the moment. That's also okay. Just make sure you breathe in deeply. Use your lower body to crunch up through the abs, legs high. Let the heels go first. They tap the floor then you repeat straight into it, no rest.